This is our 1966 Cadillac DeVille convertible. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. And then following that, I will show close ups of each of the cosmetic blemishes on the car. So we purchased the car recently from the second owner, a gentleman here in Chicago. Uh, he purchased the car from the original owner in Ohio. Uh, the car was sold new in Ohio and remained there until the early 90s when this guy brought it to Chicago. Obviously there are some paint blemishes. Um, you'll see some close-ups of that later on, but the car was originally antique gold and was treated to a low quality respray in black at some point. Uh, the interior remains original light gold leather. The white powered top is functional and in nice shape. Uh, the wheels are in very nice shape. The tires are slightly older, so those should be replaced sooner rather than later. The chrome is quite good, uh, very, very minor oxidation. You'll see a close up of that a little bit later. Uh, the boot cover you see there is just pretty tough to muscle onto the buttons, but it's in nice shape itself. While the paint's not great, the body is in really, really nice shape. It's very, very dry. That is this car's strongest point. There is really no rust to note on this car. There is no, uh, no rust bubbles in the, the lower corners of the panels, including the lower corners of the skirts. You know, those areas around the rear wheels where we always see rust. Uh, the body is very, very nice. The glass and light lenses are all clear and crack free. So here are all the blemishes on the car. There's a couple pretty severe paint cracks like that. And you can see the, uh, the antique gold paint underneath in a handful of areas. And in addition to the cracking, there is, you can kind of see on the door there, some, uh, it's not run, it's just, uh, almost looks like air pockets under the paint. It just, you know, the car was not prepped properly when they painted it. There's a good example of it there on top of the trunk lid. Then you can see down here at the rear corner, there's a little rub there. Here's a close up of the chrome. You can see just very minimal oxidation. Chrome looks just like that all the way throughout the car. The driver door, uh, probably the most severe spot of uh, paint blemish, but then there's obviously the big one on the hood. Interior is quite nice, a little tiny bit of discoloring on the door panels, but the top of the dash is excellent. Uh, the radio is functional, as is the fan and defrost and heat. Uh, air conditioning is not. Odometer reads just over 77,000 miles, uh, believed to be accurate based on underhood and underbody, uh, you know, overall condition. Here you can see the seats, uh, both front and rear are very nice. The outside of the driver's bolster, you can see it kind of peeling away from the plastic a little tiny bit, but overall condition is very good. Powered top is functional. The car runs and drives very well. Retains its original 429 V8. 